Let's move. Stomach churns around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. He is so afraid. So, so afraid of everyone. Besides you, who he ought to fear most. You could do so much better, milady. I won't lay so much as a talon on him. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. We all kill what we love most in time. You like him for more than his looks, but he will never believe that. Why not make him a pretty corpse? <laughs> It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little Moon Maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. Good night, sweet lady. Rests blissfully without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches his body, it wavers. It longs to close around his throat. <sighs> well, hello. Looking for a cuddle? Although, you don't look entirely... yourself. What's going on that head of yours? Right. Talk quickly, then. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. How flattering. And disturbing. You could have talked to me before things got murderously bad, you know. We are technically in this together. Whatever it is that's controlling you, we can fight it. I know that better than anyone. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. This thing won't have you. It won't win. Ah. 
Ah, ah, ah. We ask before we bite. You're cute, you know. In another life, we might have been friends. Your hands are raw and bloody as every inkling of your urge yearns you to tear your bindings. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. You'd do the same to me. Now just relax. Dawn isn't far off. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. Now that you're back with us, we need to have a talk. You're not alone in this. None of us are. We can even compare notes if you like. I don't hate you, because this is not you. But whatever this is, you will get through it. And I'll be here to make sure you do. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I'm sure we'll find lots of people for you to kill. Good morning. Thank you for not killing me the other night. Are you all right now, or is today a I will wed you with a delicate veil of blood blooming over your white curls kind of day? Just as the lick of poison is removed from my words of love, yours become a sentence of death. A tragic pair, eh? At least the smug peddlers of Charessa's caress will have a field day writing erotic verse about us when we're both dead. Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. How could I say no? Perfect. Every time. Later. Come to kill me again, darling. Can we? <laughs> I suppose we can. How could I say no? I do rather like that, you know. 